We are now about half a mile and 400 vertical feet down from the North Kaibab Trailhead. This is a spot where our view of the canyon first really begins to open up. The dense forest near and just below the North Rim has blocked it up until this point. In addition to Humphreys Peak and Como Point, which we've had glimpses of before, Diva Temple is beginning to come into view. We have now dropped down into the Toraweep Formation, but the formation that really stands out here are the dramatic cliffs of Coconino Sandstone, the next formation down. The cliffs on the right are on the east side of Bright Angel Point, but we don't have a line of sight from here to the panorama viewpoint at the tip of Bright Angel Point, which is just a quarter mile's easy stroll along a paved path from the North Rim Lodge. The cliffs on the left are on the west side of Uncle Jim Point, and we do have a line of sight from here to a panorama spot on Uncle Jim Point that has a great view back to here and all of the upper portion of the North Kaibab Trail. We'll reach the top of the Coconino Cliffs here on the North Kaibab Trail at the Coconino Overlook in about another half mile. Just below the Coconino Cliffs on the right, we can see patches of the bright red Hermit Shale, the next formation down below the Coconino, in the spots where it isn't covered by the lush North Rim vegetation. The Hermit Shale is well covered by the vegetation below the Coconino Cliffs on the left, but the gentler slopes of the Hermit Shale between the Coconino Cliffs and the cliffs at the top of the next formation down, the Supai Formation, stand out. The Hermit Shale is much softer and erodes much more rapidly than either the much harder Coconino Sandstone or the Esplanade Sandstone that forms the top of the Supai, creating the slopes. When we look at the Toroweep Formation, our current level, above the Coconino Cliffs to the right, we see a solid forest that continues right on up to the rim. But we do have a break in the forest right here that has opened up the view. Looking around, it appears that there was a small forest fire here some time back, and the trees haven't had time to grow back up and block the view again. There are a couple of broken off stubs of good-sized ponderosa trees, typical of what you see in a fire area. Right next to us along the trail, what looks like bushes are actually gamble oak trees. Look closely and you can see the characteristic oak shape of the leaves. Gamble oaks love open sunny spots and quickly establish themselves after a fire opens up an area. When the ponderosa trees grow back, and re-establish a canopy blocking the sun, the gamble oaks will be gone. Heading up the North Kaibab Trail from here, the trail enters the forest and remains within it all the way up to the trailhead, but we'll stop at a spot where we can catch one last glimpse of the canyon through a small opening in the trees. Heading down the trail from here, we'll stop at a spot still within the Toroweep Formation, just short of the Coconino Overlook, where you might think you've reached the top of the Coconino Cliffs, but you haven't. 